here we are an absolutely stupid o'clock sometimes i question why we do this but it doesn't get better than this when it's a nice quiet ramp you've got nothing to worry about it's an absolutely beautiful night tonight and we're here continuing our western port journey we're heading out middle of the night it's going to be a beautiful day so boat room is going to be packed in the morning we're getting out early and we want to fish for some gummies in the cover of darkness who with us <laughs> As I was saying, the Western Port journey continues. I'd say up, it's been up and down so far. A few absolute ripper sessions, quality fish after putting, putting in a lot of effort, but we're still figuring this joint out. To date, even despite you know having so many trips out so far, we um, still haven't caught a gummy, which is in, I find that interesting. I thought we would have got a lot of uh, bycatch gummies. So the aim today is to just get a little bit of progress happening so we're going to go for gummies now under the cover of darkness um, so it's, we're going to have about two to three hours before before sunrise and hopefully bag a gummy or two and then in the morning it's just going to be a mixture of squid and whiting and then we'll head back um, before the rush the aim is to get onto a gummy and to hopefully get a respectable amount of whiting just so we got something to go off because at the moment we don't have a lot of intel on this joint so the reconnaissance mission continues so this is probably the slowest i'm heading out of hastings channel it's a dead low tide at the moment it's going to start running in and cannot see anything so i'm going dead slow watching the navionics like an absolute hawk just trying to stay in the channel my experience so far going through these channels i was very nervous at the start with the way people talk about western port people always say be very careful and all that look as long as you follow your navionics and you don't go into the green green sections all right stay out of the green and you'll be fine i don't think i've been close to getting caught out they say that everyone will but i don't know i think um i think that might come when you have a bit too much experience and you're a bit too confident all right so we found the spot that we want to sort of target and the way we found this spot is I actually looked at the Navionics um, beforehand and I'm just looking along those contour lines seeing where there's nice drop-offs and we've gone past it and we've seen some like a good a good drop-off on the sounder so it drops from about let's have a look about eight meters to about 15 meters and we're right in the middle of that drop off so obviously those gummies are hopefully moving through there now this isn't like a online mark or anything like that this is something that we just come out we've had a look we like the look of it and we're sitting on it um reason being is i think just with if people give you marks you're just not going to learn anything out of it so we're going to try to use our logic and our rationale to find our spots and then we're just going to give it a whirl and see if it works out and if it works out at least we can put two and two together so we're just going to wait for the boat to settle um, sometimes we do have problems with the anchor not catching here in western port it is a strong tide today start getting the baits ready kick back relax wait for these gummies to come along all right so baits got some fresh trevally a couple of weeks ago some mullet also got another shit few other species in there i think we've got some salmon got a decent salmon got a decent trip in there as well so that's all we're going to use i think prime baits just going to use chunks like that yeah, something like that maybe i think that would be okay yeah yeah tide's poofing pretty hard so i reckon we're going to need that weight swing this bait on to the reedy's 8 dominator that's on the standard western port running rig just hang that on like that all right first baits are going out love the first part of the day when the lines go out it's geez you up all right, i've hit bottom set that drag and we wait favorite part of the day when you first get your baits out and no doubt if we don't get any hits 
in the next, next hour. 10 minutes. I reckon, nah, 10 minutes. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That was getting, that was a hit already. On the Trevally. That was a hard hit. Wow. I was just going to say, if you don't get a hit for a while, you get demoralized pretty quickly. That was a good hit. So it was a bit of a false alarm, that one. The bait was still on it. I'm not exactly, don't have the biggest amount of confidence in this place yet. But I like that it's hard. I actually, I actually love the fact that it's hard. Like, yeah, it's shit, but it's, it's, it's sick at the same time. Like, you're out here, you're doing the hard yards. The reward's better at the end. But I don't know, something about... It's like, it's like you're playing a game. You're coming out here, and you've got to play the game. And if it's too easy, it's just not as enjoyable. I think, I think what we have here in Melbourne is just... You're, not, you're never guaranteed a fish. So you actually got to, you got to work hard for it. You gotta put your, your your brain into it, and I don't know some, something about the chase, something about the fact that it's not coming easy, just makes it enjoyable for some reason. This guy doesn't agree. He's heading up to Queensland. <laughs> he wants to get his guaranteed GTs off the rocks. That's the life, I think. But yeah, as I was saying before, um, today is about hopefully getting some sort of progress out here. Not expecting bag outs, nothing like that. Just just progress of some sort. Come on. It's a bit unusual it bounced a little bit. Yeah, take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down, you snout. He's definitely eating it. He just needs to get it down his snout. I'll let him load up. I'll give it another 10 seconds of him pulling. And I'll start loading up on him. Got him. It's a giant unit of something. It feels way too heavy to be a yeah, I'm gummy. Getting, I'm Gone. Popped him off. Yeah, I think that was a big skate of some sorts. Yep. That's on, bro. Jonks, please tell me you're on, mate. It's been yeah, too long. Yeah, got it. Doesn't look like he's doing too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get the net ready in case. I nearly lost him. I nearly left it too late. It's been... I was about to do a bit of an update with you guys. We're just getting first light over the horizon now. I told you first light. I'm a fucking... I'm a first light man. Does it feel flat? Or no, is it... Nothing. Nut? Gumbo, yeah, turn your torch on. Here we go. It's a little guy, but when you haven't caught one yet, I was starting to think these guys were a bit of a myth in here. And we finally got a little Western Port gummy. And I was expecting it to be this sort of size. Yeah. I wasn't expecting anything huge. There we go, there's our first Western Port gummy. Yeah, look, I reckon I found hooked in. And that's your first oh, gummy, that's isn't it? That's my first bro? gummy, bro. The gill play is probably just size, bro. There we go. I keep you. He's a legal gummy. Yeah. I think it's a bit of reward for effort. It's a little male. I mean, it's not a big female that we're keeping, so but a little bit that, of... That's a nice, that's a nice dinner. Yeah, play. It is, you get a couple of fillets off him. Definitely not, not a massive gummy by any means, but that's what I was sort of expecting in Western Port. And to be honest, just happy that we've got onto one, because I was starting to think that it was a bit of a myth here in Western Port. But that's a, that's a tick. It's a start, it's progress. We, we found the spot that, that's produced the gummy. I see him getting caught everywhere. I've spent, what, 20, 25 odd trips here. I was expecting a bit of a bycatch. Yeah, I was, I was actually honestly very surprised that I haven't hadn't actually caught one yet. And like a lot of the fishing that I've been doing, it's the same technique, the same areas that you catch gummies, although I was obviously targeting other species. I was being, I've been thinking it was like a bit of a glitch in the matrix. But um, there we go, Trevally. We finally got our gummy here in Western Port. Onwards and upwards from here. Now we're gonna be looking at getting more numbers of gummies and hopefully upgrade as well. The sun's just coming over the horizon now. My first gummy. First gummy. Hold well on, bro. Thanks, bro. Light. He's the first light king. He's got me onto first light fishing. I never had much luck with it. It's definitely no um, no South Channel Port Phillip Bay gummy, but it's flake nonetheless. 
Alright, it's slack now, so I reckon we're calling it. Head to Tyre Bank and see if we can get a few squid. I think that's sort of coming towards the end of that sort of end of the tide. That sort of hour before the slack. Down a little bit. I think I find that's when you tend to get most of your fish. I think everywhere. It always seems to be the case. So I think we had that little window, we got our one fish. I think that's it. Let's go get some squid. Get the net. Alright, we're on to a squid here. It took us a good half an hour. We're starting to get a bit over it. One tentacle, bro. One tentacle, one tentacle. He's aiming straight at your face. He's gonna get you. One tentacle. Get him out, Dad! <laughs> hit, a, hit a miss, I find the squid here. Sometimes you get onto a good patch. Sometimes it's hard work. We'll work this patch now. See if we can get a couple more. If not, it's just too it's just too hard these days I find getting a bag of squid. I gave him the um the whiting invitation last time. Smashed it. I took it this time and um, he's got it on the pink G. Yeah, a little squid. <laughs> Good catch! Hey, that was a ripper catch. Like that. And guess what happened? It happens to me every single freaking trip I cast my bloody lure off. Just cast it off twenty dollars. Gone. My favorite jig whiting imitation. So you're done? You sick of it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I've got one, we've got some bait, we've we'll got some whiting. Try to catch a couple of handfuls of whiting and we're gonna, I'm gonna call that progress. Now the trick is you always put the burly bucket on the side that you're fishing on. Okay, you know what? You're a guest on my boat. That's <laughs> alright. I always say, it doesn't matter who catches the fish, you know? You can be a smart ass if you want, but... It doesn't matter. As long as, the, as long as the fish hits the deck, I don't care. The whiting session actually surprisingly got cut short. We had a couple of short five minute drops, but we ended up on weed with the low visibility. And with better reports coming from the north of the port, we decided to make our way down. Until something caught our eye. Is it a bust up or are they just sort of? Right, I think bust up. Oh, a bit of a bust up happening. Jonkers is going to throw the um, Halco twist. Twisty. See what it is. Birds are working. We'll just see what they are first. If it's worth Ooh. it. Yeah. On. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be Sambo. Good. Get a few of these. Right, they're everywhere here. Bait store. Right, they're everywhere here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you come off the cut. Oh, you dog. Right, put a little more on Adzi. Just see that one. Have a fight. All right, whiting sesh has turned into a salmon sesh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cut sick. Eat your heart out. Bro, I've never seen this before. I've never been able to fish it. Everywhere. Oh! <laughs> Where's the Halco twist, bro? In there, in, in tech, tech pockets. Here and there. I'll just put that on. Bro, <laughs> Kingy. Oh, it's a tailor. They're tailors, bro. That's a big chopper tailor. Depth changes here. Oh, no. This one's a salmon. Yeah? That's a salmon, bro. That's a good salmon. Uh, absolutely everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how many there are. Bang. Ooh. Man, you love eating, bro. I love eating salmon. Bro, we're gonna have a bag of Oh! He dropped off right there. <laughs> oh! oh I'm casting the lure off. Oh, they're everywhere! <laughs> they're literally, they're, they're breaking surface three metres away from the boat. Fuck, this is fun, bro. I've been waiting for one of these sessions for yonks. Look at that! 
<laughs> All right, guys, there goes the winding sesh. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly just burn through them a little bit. Bang. I'm going in circles. You on? Oh, yeah, again. <laughs> hey, this is great. This is fun. Whoa! It scared me. Smell <laughs> well, salmon. Bait stocking and we get heaps of them for dinner as well. You guys know how much I love it. It's throwing me off guard this joint. Don't know what to expect from here. Oh, <laughs> right there. He smacked it on the surface. Bust ups. You laugh when it says bust ups. Why is she still your booty? Get on the camera. Oh, fuck it. Nice sambo. Sambo. Bust up here, bro. Look, sambo's. Sambo's got more. Oh, look, they're spitting out white bait. That's what's happening. They're spitting out little, tiny little white bait. Oh. Go hard, man. They're, they're such an underrated fish. <laughs> we found it. Is that our true, bro? Where are they? At? Yeah. Here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's at that point where you don't right. care if they jump off. Ah, they fucked you! Did he do ya? Yeah, you fucked me. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy, ads. Bro, look at this! Look, look, look! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Never seen anything like this. But yeah, bro. <laughs> it's <bad. laughs> I'm gonna start throwing them at you. <laughs> I'm gonna take them straight off the hooks. I'm gonna throw them at your feet. Fuck this. Bro, this they're solid a, salmon too. What a monster! This cat doesn't want to cut. Oh! This fucking cat is an absolute. Bro! Yeah. Gotta take my jacket off. Adds you. Just chuck it. Yeah, we've got. I can't really show you. I'm, I'm on the other side of the camera, but. That's a donkey of a Donkey. Seat. And then just. It's just in the boat now. Bro, this one. Mate, the one oh, I just man. caught is a fucking pandorfla. Bro, they could be kings amongst these. They could be, bro. Well, because they're chasing bait. I've got kingy. I've got kingy um, jigs. Hey, that's why I always say you gotta have metal slugs on your on your boat. There's a couple of guys around here that they clearly don't have any. I think they're just throwing baits around. Always keep a metal slug on your boat. Bro, this is my gummy bait sorted out for 2024 and 2024. <laughs> oh yeah. Bro, this is crazy, man. I, I keep saying it. I, I've never said it that many times, but bro, this is something that you just never ever wit you witness once in your life. But, I mean, you can witness it, and there's yeah. one thing to fish it and to actually reap the rewards. And they're nice fish too. They are. They're solid. They're not little. These guys are probably watching us, and they're going, "Look at these two. Throw them a fucking halco at you." Oh, this is bonkers. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of getting boring now. <laughs> Gets a bit like that, oh. huh? I was over the kingfish after a couple of hours. Oh! I'll tell you what, it's a nice reel. It's nice. It's stratty. It's smooth. Oh, he's come, oh. oh, come off again! I don't even right, know this is, this is salmon collection, bro. Just, just get in as many as we can. What's a bag on salmon? 20. 
28, I'm pretty sure. Bump. Three, two, one. Hook up! <laughs> <laughs> Predictable now. Oh, you come off! Alright, guys, let's sit back and enjoy this bit of pandemonium. Oh, go, go, go. I'm just going to let it roll through. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. You're going to keep driving off on me, are you? These poor guys use a bait. Oh, this is. Hey, this is. They've got. He's got one on. Hey, this is a kingfish, bro. I'll help you out. I'll drive towards him. So, try not to keep it too slack. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm fucking reeling as fast as I can. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is pandemonium. It's been non stop for about 25 minutes. Just one after another, just like that. Double hookups, dropping them, hooking them up right at the boat. Look at this, look at this. You know when you were saying the, the bust up that you you seen you know, a few years ago was ending yeah. like this? Um, no, it wasn't, it wasn't this good. I've never seen a salmon bust up this good. Bro, and they're massive. Like, the school, the school must be like, there must yeah. be a thousand here. More. I'll just drop mine at the boat. As he just hooks up straight away, and then I'm on again. Oh, this is bait collection sorted, mate. Bait and food. To be honest, I've actually only eaten salmon probably once, and it wasn't a massive fan. But I'd be open to trying them again. The salmon today? Is... Salmon today, hopefully, tuna tomorrow. <laughs> That's a cuter? That's a cuter? Oh, what is that? It's a mac. Slimy mackerel. That's a big slimy mac, bruh. Nice big slimy. Because I've got kingy jigs if you want. So stick bait. Pan pandemonium on the ads craft. Happens now and again. That's it. Jesus Christ, bro. You got the treble in your shot. For a laugh, I'm just going to throw the knife jig down. This is my just in case there's kings around rod. What's happened to the bloody... What happened? Real. Wouldn't be... <laughs> That's a return? That's rubbish. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even have time to bloody reel it in. Yeah, have you got another... Yeah, I've got other stuff. Oh, oh yeah. It doesn't have to swim, bro. It just hits the water and it take it. Just bait on there. Bigger one. Oh, everywhere. I'll tell everyone to leave the smelly old salmon for me and then they're taking a few. I'm happy to collect them. Solid one. So we got our gummy this morning. We we're struggling a bit on the whiting to begin with. We'll just move it, we'll try to move up to, to Warn Eight. And then we saw this along the way. How could you not? How could you not stop? Imagine these guys got the size of a, of a tuna. I reckon they'd absolutely rinse them. You know, you know how much money and bait this is going to save me. Fine. So tired, but you know, been a long night. Got up at two, slept at midnight. Got up at two a.m. Gonna go, gonna head out on the tuna tomorrow. Western Port throwing absolute, absolute curveballs at us. What did you do? Put your drag down? No, I didn't. This, is, this one's just going like an actual machine. Look at this, look, look, look at this. <laughs> you can't hook up, casting through that. 
There's a problem, eh? It's like the Fraser Gehrig of the salmon. G-Train. Slimy. That's good. Monster slimy. Bro, that's what makes me think they can potentially be kings. Amongst them. See you tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed, and then I'll see you back out here.